Sitecore Experience Platform includes an integrated and connected marketing automation engine, which along with content management and contextual intelligence lets you orchestrate real-time interactions and automate responses and content based on how customers are, interaction, are, are interacting with your brand in the moment. Sitecore marketing automation capabilities is part of the Sitecore Experience platform, and it relies heavily on the tracking and segmentation capabilities of the Sitecore Experience database. As a true single marketing platform, marketing automation is connected with the entire Sitecore Experience platform, including the email experience manager, in order to continuously push campaigns to contacts based on their behavior or journey with the Sitecore Experience Manager product in order to manage and personalize the continued journey, and with the Sitecore Commerce to personalize promotions and the transactional aspects of the customer journey. The marketing automation engine in Sitecore runs marketing automation plans or campaigns, which are basically directed graphs that continuously processes contacts and flows them through plans, creating an optimized and personalized experience for each contact. Marketing automation plans or campaigns are created and managed by marketers in the marketing automation user interface th served through the content management role. Marketing automation plans are stored in the master database and the definitions include, amongst others, the criteria for when a contact is enrolled in the plan, uh, what activities an enrolled contact or enrollment can go through as they uh, pass through the plan. Once the marketer has completed defining the plan, she or he can activate it through the marketing automation user interface. This triggers the content management role to activate the marketing automation plan through the marketing operations API, which pushes the plan definition to the reference data data service store um, and, and stores the active marketing automation plan in the XDB reference data database. Once a marketing automation plan is active, the marketing automation engine will accept work for this new plan and start enrolling contacts and processing the contacts enrolled in the plan. This is triggered through the XConnect collection service. For example, when a content delivery role creates an interaction or contact uh, or a facet is updated. This in turn triggers a marketing automation plugin which will add a work item to the marketing automation pool in the marketing automation database. The marketing automation engine is a worker role which continuously pulls the marketing automation pool and checks out work items for processing. For scenarios where there are many marketing automation plans uh, or where marketing automation activities require heavy processing, uh, it is possible to scale the marketing automation engine. This can either be done by increasing the number of workers or threads running simultaneously on the engine, or by increasing the number of marketing automation engine instances. In processing the work item, the marketing automation engine will load the contact through the XConnect collection service. The marketing automation engine then reads all the marketing uh, the active marketing automation plans from the XDB reference data uh, database and processes each marketing automation plan individually for the contact. If the contact meets the entry criteria of a plan, an enrollment is created in the marketing automation database. Enrollments are stored in the marketing automation database and can, con and can, can contain custom data which is defined by the custom activities in the plan or through a call to the enroll operation on the marketing auto automation operation service. This will be covered later. When or if the contact is enrolled, then the, the marketing automation engine will run the business logic defined in the appropriate activities for the contact. 
This can include uh, updating the contacts data or facets through XConnect collection service, as well as creating new marketing automation interactions for the contact. <clears throat> marketing automation activities includes sending personalized emails through the experience manager by adding messages to the messaging bus database, which will be picked up by the content management server or a dedicated delivery server or dispatch um, and dispatch an email to the contact. However, <clears throat> the marketing automation engine can also be extended with custom activities, which can run any business logic and notify or pull data from external services. Now, when a plan has been processed for the contact, the enrollment along with the custom data is stored as a facet on the contact, and this data can be used for personalization and reporting. When the entire work item is done and all plans have been processed for the single contact, the contact with its updated facets is stored in the XConnect collection service. The marketing automation user interface provides insights into the individual marketing automation plans, such as the number of contacts enrolled in a plan, which activities the enrollment has included, etc. The marketing automation engine continuously aggregates data for the insights as enrollments are created and transitioned through the marketing automation plans. The aggregated data is stored in the marketing automation database. When an editor visits the marketing automation user interface on the content management role, the reporting data is being queried through the marketing op and automation reporting service. In some scenarios, it might be important to manipulate enrollments directly. For example, in order to secure privacy by purging contacts from the marketing automation plans, or in order to enroll contacts immediately based on explicit actions on the website or on other channels. The marketing automation operations service can be called to trigger specific operations on marketing automation plans. In order to directly enroll a contact in an automation plan, in other words, to circumvent any enrollment criteria of a plan, any role, for example, a content delivery server, calls the enroll operation on the marketing automation operations service, which will create an enrollment work item in the marketing automation database. The engine will pick up the work item and process accordingly. Similar to enrolling contacts and plans, contacts can also be explicitly purged from a single plan or from all plans, for example, for privacy reasons. In case of privacy, the right to be forgotten is implemented as an integral part of XConnect. When the right to be forgotten operation is triggered on the XConnect collection service, an XConnect collection service will call through the marketing operation um, marketing automation operations service to purge the contact from all plans and update the marketing automation database. The marketing automation operations service also allows marketing automation plans for a contact to be processed immediately for live personalization or other processing before the session ends, such as sending emails through EXM. The marketing automation engine runs asynchronously, which means that any live interactions leading to the contact being enrolled or processed in a marketing plan can have a delay. To facilitate processing marketing automation for live personalization, the marketing automation operations service allows the processing of live events. Live events are marketing events such as goals and outcomes, which are explicitly marked for live processing in the marketing control panel. An example of this could be during an e-commerce uh, e checkout process where a customer checks out, we process them in a marketing automation plan and it immediately personalizes the website experience for them based on the decision made by the marketer when defining the marketing automation plan. When a content delivery role 
<clears throat> handles a live marketing event, such as an outcome being triggered, the contact delivery role will first check whether the contact is stored in the experience database already or whether the contact is new and has yet been persisted. If the contact is new, the contact is immediately saved through the XConnect collection service. Subsequently, the content delivery role sends the data for the contact and interaction to the marketing automation operations service. When the marketing op automation operations service receives the interaction, the role itself will process the contact in the same fashion that the marketing automation engine does for work items. This means custom or out-of-the-box activities will run on the marketing operations service and can call through to, for example, the messaging bus, XConnect collection service, or third-party services. <clears throat> when the processing is completed, the result is sent back to the role triggering the live event. So when the content delivery role gets the result of the live event processing, it updates the facets in the tracker to reflect the result of the processing. This makes sure that any personalization based on the newly executed marketing automation plan can be triggered correctly. <clears throat>